I'm not going to believe the trouble my little trooperettes Laverne and Charlie get into today. So stay tuned. That's in order. It's clear that this super suit is meant for one of you. I kind of like it. I'll try it on. Who knows? Maybe it'll do something enhancing for me. So, how do I get these threads to do their super stuff? When testing new equipment, always start with simple Ow! applications. Help! Ow! It's caught in a tree. <laughs> Please, will you get my kitty down for me? <laughs> That's it. A simple yet heroic action. Defazio. Rescue her Pookie on the double. That's it, Laverne. Up and away. Save poor little Pookie. Whoa! It's hard to control. Slow down. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody stop me! That was super, Laverne. Look, you're flying high in the air. Oh, no. I have a feeling I'm about to fall very low in the air. Shabby for the first test flight. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving Pookie Super Lady. Super Lady? Me? How'd that kitten get down, Cheryl? Pookie was kicked out of the tree by Super Lady, Laverne. On your feet, soldier. Prepare yourself for further testing. Now, for the test that'll separate the sad sack from the super whack. 
Listen up, my super trooperette. See this building? Gotcha. In a single bound, right? Right, super recruit. Leap it! In, as you say, a single bound. Good luck, Laverne. Remember, it's for the greater good of mankind. Right, Cheryl. Whether it does great things for me is another story altogether. Let's go collect the Fazio. Looks like our new super defense weapon is ready for action. No need to move, Squealy. She's boomerang. Oh! Hey, this is a snap. I'm doing a round trip here. You are now part of the US of A defense system, DeFazio. Be prepared. Yeah, well, this super suit is kind of nifty once you get used to all the super features and stuff. The scene is tense as the shuttle rocket is moved into place. Pull over, Feeney. Official blast off is at 1,500 hours. In a few minutes, we better stand by. Soon the final countdown will begin, and our astronauts will be shuttled to the new orbiting space station. Sorry to disappoint you all, but there's been a change of plans. I am Roka. The astronauts aren't going anywhere. Hey, that's awesome. What's going on? Who is this Roka? Who is this Roka creep? I don't know, but it sure looks like he could use a bath and a shave. You won't get away with this, Mr. Man. Silence! Look up in the sky and observe Roka! It's for real, Laverne. Look! I am taking over the space station and turning it into an orbiting fortress. The whole world will be at my mercy! <laughs> Did you see that? He zapped our shuttle into nothing. See you around. Soon you'll all be answering to me. <laughs> you can't fool around with the U.S. Army, Rokar. Now come back here. So that's it, Laverne. Rokar is the one those aliens warned us against. Oh, yeah. So he's the reason for this super suit. For once, you're making Army sense, recruits. Our mission is clear. DeFazio, reconnoiter Rokar and terminate the takeover. Who, me? You got bacon bits for brains or what? That's in order! Move out! Come on, Squealy. How am I going to find Rokar, much less reconnoiter him? Hey, what is this? Hold it! This is one pushy super suit. It's trying to guide you, Laverne. That little super outfit just can't wait to track down evil and to crush it out. Let's go! We gotta monitor that suit's progress, soldier. Get on its tail, on the double. You did your very best in that little suit. 
Not good enough, DeFazio. What Sergeant Turnbuckle gonna say, huh? You didn't even match the super suit. What good's a super suit that gets us into super deep trouble? Oh no, Prince Charming is back again. Farewell, my captives. I will soon blast off to man the space station. And once my laser destruction ray is mounted up in the space station, Rokar will dominate the entire Earth! <laughs> so much for putting the lid on Rokar. You'll never defeat the entire U.S. of A, Rokar. Watch me, Piggy Wiggy. And now, a crushing farewell present from Rokar to you! <laughs> Now, Laverne. No, Cheryl. No, I'm not. I'm really not. What have you to say for yourself? Just one thing. Help! Ah! Ah! Laverne, you better think of something fast. After all, it is your fault. My fault? You're the one who started talking on the super suit. Cut the gear, both of you. Put on the suit, on the double. Good idea, Squealy. We'll share. Okay, Laverne? This is ridiculous. Half a super suit? Ah! You push too, Feeny. That's an order. Not on your life, Squealy. That rough wall will ruin my nails. If you want it to ruin your life, just keep standing there. Push! Oh, very well. Wow, that was easy. Easy? Nothing. That was terrific. You must have the super strength part of the suit. Troops, the walls are closing in again. Beanie must stop that door. Oh, no problems, really. Let's just leave this place, Laverne. It's becoming much too confining. Come back. Do the rear hunt. I can't fit through. Help! <laughs> such circumstances. You're a lucky pig, Squealy. All I could picture was pressed ham. No thanks to you, DeFazio. You're part of that suit's a dud. Oh, yeah? Tell that to him. Him who, Laverne? Him Rokar. You think? But I don't see a thing. I got x-ray vision. Rokar's making his getaway on the other side of this wall. Trust me, Cheryl, you got the bra and I got the super peepers. Well, don't just stand around comparing superpowers. Move it out, tropes! Stop! In the name of the U.S. of A Super Task Force! Laverne! My feet have super speed! That's nothing! Check out this flying action! Rokar's in big trouble now! What a team, huh, Cheryl? Hey, wait for me, troop! Don't do a thing without your commanding pig! All right, Squealy, but just remember, you asked for it. Yay! Whoa! What? They escaped my wall crunch device? I'll stop them now with this. Mama, where are the brakes? Evasive action, Laverne. You're not going to let a little thing like a solid steel door stand between us and that villain, are you, soldier? Not when Private Beanie can do that. Oh, her half of the suits is better with steel doors. So what? Leaving a superior pig at the scene of an accident. Sergeant Tynebuckle's not going to like this one bit. All that's left now is to blast off. Once I reach that orbiting space station and install my laser destruction ray, as I was saying, you super saps, all systems are go for blast off. <laughs> I'll blast you off, all right, Buster. Straight into the stockade, along with those two bundling super soldierellas. Oh, 
K. Rokar, turn in your laser disintegrate array and come out with your hands up. The pig is in control now. Within certain specified limits, that is. Vini, DeFazio, up here! Help! Rokar's getting away! And look, the bird squealies on board! That's just dandy. Not only do we gotta save the world, now we gotta save a captured pig to boot! I don't know about this, Cheryl. I think I'm just about superheroed out. We can do it, Laverne. I know we can. Now let's not waste any more time. Up, up and away, Laverne! That's easy for you to say. You're the one getting a free ride. Whoa! Hang on, will you, Cheryl? Oh! Oh, I sure wish you'd learn to drive this suit, Laverne. Now which way did Rokar's rocket go anyway? I believe it was headed in an upward direction, Cheryl. I want Rokar's spacecraft stopped, Commander. If he can do what he claims, he'll turn our scientific space station into a weapon against the entire world. Yes, sir. Prepare to intercept Rokar's spacecraft and return it to Earth. Fire one, two, three, four, five! <laughs> Fools. They send mere rockets after the greatest criminal genius of all time. Nothing can stop me now! You're getting away a ton. You should be carrying me. You're the one with the muscle. But you seem to have forgotten one thing, Laverne. I don't fly. An important consideration. Whoa! What's that all about, Laverne? I have a feeling those are U.S. rockets looking for road car. We must be on the right track. Uh, when they said join the army and see the world, I didn't think they meant from up here. All right, Rokar, come on out and face me, man to pig. So, trying to bribe me with stolen space goodies, huh? Well, it won't work. Those rockets are in for a surprise. My electronic force field will neutralize them. <laughs> That's a good point, Cheryl. Those rockets are coming back at us. We got ourselves a live wire here, Cheryl. Let's hitch a ride to Rokar's ship. To the space station, and don't spare the kilowatt. Very good, Laverne. I sense you've actually tamed this little rocket. Whoa! Look, the space station, and there's that Ripley Rokar ship. Get ready to jump, Cheryl. This is where we get off. Well, I'm certainly going to give Rokar a piece of my mind. Over here. Hey! Those space cadets didn't even see me! What's this? A control lever. A okay. A few portals for the pig. Now to give that row car some close order drill he'll never forget. Maybe we should knock first, Laverne. You never know. If it'll put you at ease, Cheryl, I'll check things out inside with my super eyeball. Is your X-ray vision working, Laverne? Sure is. <laughs> so those super fools have found a way on board, eh? Well, it's too late. I've already got everything under my control now. Rogar's watching us on TV. That's not good, Laverne. We need the element of surprise if we're to capture him. Too bad we can't become invisible. Hey, Cheryl. Where'd you go? I seem to have invisible powers, Laverne. I'm going after that Rokar. Hey, wait! I'd rather be invisible around Rokar myself! What happened? Where did they go? Where are you, Laverne? I'll give you a hot clue. That's my foot you're standing on. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Well, once I hook up my laser destruction ray, it won't matter where they are! <laughs> Aha! There's that unscrupulous villain! We'll just bring some of our super stuff on him. No, there's Squealy. He's right in our way. You are through, Rokar. In the name of the US of A, surrender now. Squealy, no! Squealy, you set off the fire alarm and sabotage our tactics and our suits. This stuff 
is melting our suits. We'll have no more superpowers. This is a catastrophe. <laughs> Out of my way, you impertinent pork chop. Okay, you're in serious trouble now, Rokar. Pig handling an official officer. Silence! Now, give the Earth a taste of my power. This calls for the old football rush, Cheryl. Remember? off on you. Now let's ground that goo. Whoa! Glide all right this way, Rokar. Oh, that was terrific. Let me out! Only to take you back to the break, Mr. Man. Can you imagine him wanting to take over the entire world, Laverne? He's got some nerve. And speaking of nerve, how could you ruin those super suits? That's gotta be worth a zillion demerits apiece. Laverne, this could be dangerous. I mean, we made them ourselves. That doesn't mean they won't work. Every last detail's the same, Cheryl. And besides, if they do work, Squealing might take us off lifetime KP duty. Well, if you put it like that, I suppose it can't hurt to test them just a little. I mean, we did go to all this trouble on three. One, two, three! <laughs> well, back to the sewing machine. Some super suits. We came down on Squealy. No furloughs, no weekend passes. We were only trying out our super suit, Squealy. Just think of all the good we could do. If you know what's good for you, you'll get back into regulation gear pronto. I just can't believe Squealy sometimes, Laverne. He has no heart. Very does, nice, Cheryl. Too bad for us, it's the heart of a pig. I heard that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.